Welcome back to a, another video of my fellow Call of Duty enthusiasts. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this has been a requested video a lot. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I'm going to break down one of my gameplays. This is a 29 kill game on Rebirth. Um, let's just jump right into it. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So I don't remember if I'm playing with randoms or not in this game. I have the audio turned down a little bit. That way you can just hear me talk and the gameplay, the sound of the gameplay doesn't drown out my voice. So, nine times out of ten I always like to land um, showers, which is basement. People refer to it as showers or basement or bottom prison. So, I'll either go straight, depending on like what I'm feeling like and... I'll either go straight into showers or I'll go to this double door. And maybe sometimes there's a gun that spawns right on the other side of this door. So I'll look in there real quick and if there's not a gun that spawned right there, I'll just go into the basement. From here, I'm looking for picks. I'm looking for money, obviously, to get load out. I prioritize throwing knives because throwing knives are very, very useful in getting fulls very quickly. Get the load out, throw it down, and from here, I kind of just slay out. So I just saw some dots over here. So I think that's where I'm about to go. Yep. I saw that guy. As soon as I knocked that guy... I immediately expect this other guy to um, chow me or push me. So one thing a lot of people don't realize, I want you guys to pay, pay attention to the mini-map real quick. So as soon as I get the full, see how it pings his teammate? And I want you guys to pay attention to this once again. So not only is it pinging his teammate, a lot of people that don't, don't play Rebirth enough think that people are walling or something. It pings his other... You can't see it as well, but there's going to be ripples around the other teammates, and they're, like, all the way on the other side of the map, if you can see, kind of, in the bottom left corner of the mini-map. Oh, I just outplay this guy completely. And then, once again, after I kill him, his teammates are pinging on the map over there. When you're going for high-kill games, guys, you the key is, is to not wipe teams, and there's a completely different team right here in front of me at the spy station. So when I'm taking on a team, if I can help it, I don't want to wipe them. I just want to take out three of them and then move on. All right, this guy that I just killed is part of this team at the spy station. So I reload. And then I just chow it. So honestly, guys, I'm a very risky player. I That's just the way I like to play. Odds are that was a decent team of players that pro probably would have went down a lot differently. I'm just a very in-your-face, rushy type of player. I like I take all the risks. I, I, I only have like 500 wins and... I've gotten like a shitload of 30 bombs, so like, if I just played for wins, I'd probably already have a thousand wins. So let me backtrack a little bit to see if there's anything that I... So I think, yeah, I left that team, so I didn't want to wipe them. So I, I went ahead and I moved on. Having UAVs consistent helps out a lot, but I don't don't go to a buy station if you don't think it's safe. Knock this guy. His teammates are pinging right here at this buy station, up to the right of me. I'm 
It looks like they're kind of pushing me. I knocked one. I tried to call in precision, but it won't let me. Because there's another one being called in already. So right here, what I was trying to do is I was going to go for another knock and then call the precision in. But instead, I'm going to try to play it up and reset on these guys. And they're pushing me, so now I have to back off. And high ground, you know, is very useful. So I'm pretty sure I just end up ego challenging these kids because I have a daddy. I'm a lot more comfortable going into um, super aggressive plays when I have dead silence. And then I just... As I'm fighting this team, I get third party by somebody else. So even if they're not... So if they're ghosted, they'll still show up as ripples. They'll still show up as these ripples. There just won't be a dot. So when you kill somebody, still pay attention to your minimap because even if they're ghosted, the, the ripples will still appear, giving you some type of indicator where their teammates are. And this guy wasn't even a part of this team. He was a completely different person. Now I'm just going to come back to the loadout. And I'm just going to try to find another team to farm. Luckily, there's just two right here already. Sometimes when I'm in the heat of the moment, I don't always like I don't always catch where the teammates are in time. I accidentally wipe a team there because, like I said, I I remember this gameplay. I remember getting mad at myself because when I'm in the heat of the moment, trying to focus on pe fighting people, it's not always easy to like. Constantly check your mini-map to make sure that you're not about to wipe a team. So I accidentally wiped a team there. I remember thinking to myself, I didn't say anything in the video. I don't know if my gameplay is too quiet. I'll turn the volume up a little bit. So I just called in a UAV and I'm holding one. I really like fighting at docks. Docks is probably my favorite place to fight. Because this little um, staircase right here, the head glitch on it is just ooh, so fucking useful. So there's a team at docks. I'll nine times out of ten fight the team at docks before anything else just because I like fighting over here. I'm really confident. So, if I kill these two guys, their last teammate just ping on the other side of the map. So he's either in the air, he's on the ground somewhere else. So obviously they had me weak, so I'm trying to play it up. Luckily they didn't push me. I'm going to try to reposition. I outplay the fuck out of this guy here in a second. He was shooting at the ground for some reason. I try to grab plates real quick. Because I'm probably going to die. If I don't, and then I shut on him anyway. I don't remember. Did I just team wipe? I didn't even have time to play it up. I had to chow that. You know, good movement and hopping around corners, bunny hopping, slide canceling. That honestly all comes with just like re repetition and playing the game a lot. Nice. You ran in with ghosts. <laughs> I mean, uh, dead silence. I just grabbed some plates. If you don't have any plates, I mean, if you want to be risky, sometimes I do it. I'll buy you UAV over plates. I'm not even shit. I'm not even kidding. Like. I'll have one plate or no plate sometimes, and I'll buy a UAV over plates. And if you want to play super risky, that's entirely up to you. It's kind of just a decision thing. But there, I chose to buy plates. So to be on pace for like a 30 bomb, ideally, you want to have around... To be comfortably... To, to comfortably be on pace for a 30 bomb or around the amount of kills that I have like right now. Like... As second circle is closing, if you want to be on pace for the record, 
you want to have 20 to 25 kills right now. You you need to basically almost have a 30 bomb. Or have 20 to 25 kills. Like it, like as going like as like third circle starting or going into third circle. I mean, you can still be on pace for it with just 20 kills as second circle is ending, but you really got to play out of your mind from that point. So this entire team, I'm kind of hoping that one pushes me by them. I'm kind of sound horning right here and hoping that I can if, see how I... Okay, let me re-explain this. So what I was hoping for is after I realized there's a whole team on the roof holding each other's nuts. There's four people right here. I was kind of hoping that just one of them would push down first instead of all of them together, and I was going to go for a pick. I was sound horning for footsteps. I pull out the heartbeat. There's two, and then there's another, a third lacking behind a little bit, so then I back, decided to back up a little bit. And now I'm looking for another... I'm still looking for the knock. I find the knock. I get the full. I'm looking for another one if I can get it, but if I get really ballsy, and now I'm just going to reset. I'm going to back up. Jump out of this window. I'm gonna take this staircase back up the infirm to infirmary, or I'm not. I thought I was. That's usually what I do. I must have not have caught it. I must have just thought that guy was last because when I killed him, I I must have not have caught this in the gameplay. Because if I did, I would have went back up the staircase to infirm and go for another pick. But you see how if a player is ghosted, they will still show up as a ripple. So pay attention to that when you guys are playing, okay? I must have just thought he was last. That's why I didn't go back up there and fight that. So, I mean, because I missed that detail, I'm looking for a different team to fight now. Or maybe... Actually, yeah, I was trying to see if I could give them enough time to respawn back into the game. Okay. So I backed off, and at this point, I probably still only think it's one dude. And then his, their last teammate's in the air, so I back off, I'm pretty sure. He just got killed by somebody else. So I cluster the roof. I jump off the roof because obviously you got precision. I get a knock. And I get a fall from my uh, cluster. There's a few different ways I could try to take on this gunfight. But now there's a different team on, on ground floor with me. I'm seeing that there's another teammate watching the staircase. I'm trying to look for that. I don't see one here. Um, he doesn't shoot me. His reflexes are dog shit. I, he's got an RPG though looking at me. Which I've been dying to a lot recently. It's annoying. So I'm going to call in a few UABs. And then I'm probably going to go reach out these kids. Or fight these people right here um, next to my teammates. See, if I if I had to stay there and full him without the throwing knife, I probably would have died. It was that split second that the throw that's how useful a throwing knife is. Instant you can instantly get your full and then run away. And then I mean respawns are disabled, so after respawns are disabled, um if you kill them right before respawns are disabled, they'll come back. Um, so if you can catch that in time and realize it, try to keep that person alive so his teammates come back. But um, 
I'm pretty sure I killed all the guy's teammates before, after he spawns, or like right before. I, they actually might come back, or they would have if I didn't kill him, now that I think about it, but when respawns are disabled, it doesn't matter if you wipe teams anymore. I know these guys are above us. I was going to use the gas mask to go up there, but then someone's watching it. Don't ever sacrifice your positioning for a fall. Even though I got a few knocks, I'm focusing on getting in circle comfortably. And trying to... Because even if you... Sometimes you could throw a game, and I've, I'm guilty of doing it myself. So yeah, alright. Once again. I know this guy's here. Because even though he's not showing up on my mini-map, he's, he's ghosted. So their last teammate is ghosted right underneath me somewhere. So I just ego challenge it. I start focusing on a different team actually. So there's there's still somebody behind me somewhere. I think my teammates catch him. This could have been a 30 bomb, but my teammates stole the kill. I mean, they didn't really steal it. They got it fair and square, but... I get salty about shit like that. And yeah, that's it. I mean, honestly, guys, is just farm teams. Try to keep them alive best you can. Even, I mean, I'm not the best player in the world. I, I, I definitely think I'm up there. But I, one of my biggest flaws is I accidentally wipe teams all the time, and if I got better about not doing that, because I'll get so wrapped up in the gunfight. But yeah, guys, that's really it. Um, if you found this video helpful, I hope you did. I'm not the best at explaining things. I, I tried my best. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, or leave a just like if that's what you guys think the video deserves, turn on bell notifications if you guys want to get notified about all future uploads. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you.